We have to secure a massive victory for Dr. Oz in this primary. So get your friends. Faith and we'll fight back. Are you willing to fight China? Yes. Will you fight for our kids in our schools? Yes. Are you going to fight back to keep our borders clean? Yes. You're going to fight back to make sure we don't have Fauci. You want to fire Fauci? Yes. I thought that would get you worked up. <laughs> I'm, I'm searching for something, anything. <laughs> Fauci? Government oversight, Second Amendment right. So um, there's Dr. Oz trying to continue to appeal to the MAGA crowd after, of course, Donald Trump endorsed him and he won that primary there. But I'm not sure if he knows the best way to go about this because he sent out a fundraising uh, attempt to get more people on board. But I'm not sure who wrote this. Let's check it out because um, this is what he tweeted out. Uh, it says, this uh, this one particular uh, gentleman pointed out that he did point this in a fundraising. And so this fundraising text from the Oz campaign says, the MAGA movement is dying. Keep the MAGA movement alive. 300% match, claim below. Let's look at the full, uh, t- I'm gonna read the full text of this that's under that. It says liberals are winning and fundraising, uh, the fundraising race. And the America pro first Trump movement feels defeated. You guys suck. Uh, after that it goes, if just seven MAGA supporters step up right here, right now, we will be able to turn things around. Our nation cannot afford for the MAGA movement to die. Friend, be a fighter for Trump. There's a lot of uh, changes here in this approach. First, it's you guys suck. This whole thing is gonna fall apart, you're dying. I need your money. Hey MAGA, you're dying. Can you give me some money so I can help you guys maybe not die so much? Uh, Maybe it'll work because honestly, we've seen what uh, Donald Trump has done, tossing them around and using them and uh, uh, taking their money uh, while he's saying he's helping with his uh, fighting the steal of his election. They're suckers, so maybe Dr. Oz is potentially on to something? I don't know, what are you thinking, Jessica? All of the MAGA fundraising texts have big like bully asking for your lunch money energy. Like they're yeah. all yeah. just just kind of like aggressive in a really weird way. Like you wanna stay a part of us, give me your money. It's so weird. And Dr. Oz's campaign has become a spectacle at this point. I mean, to say that liberals are out fundraising him is insane. He's obviously just talking about John Fetterman, who's a far more popular candidate. And it's because John Fetterman has values, has a platform and is a likable guy, Dr. Oz. He's trying to be Donald Trump while he's giving that (laughs) speech. It's really funny, he's trying to do exactly what Donald Trump does and and mimic his cadence. And now on Twitter, he's trying to do what John Fetterman does and post memes. And he's so bad at doing both of those things. It's like monkey see, monkey do. It's really funny to watch. I I would love to know what the the meetings are when it comes to advisors trying to tell them a certain approach to take and things to uh, say. Because we know this is all pop, not all, but damn near all politicians, once they win their primary, they have to go super uh, to the right or left. In some cases, actually not always because many Democrats don't feel they need to deal with progressives at all. But um, after winning it, the whole idea from these uh, advisors is that you gotta go center so you can appeal to the other side, at least enough voters that are from the other side that aren't so sure. This is one of those attempts because that's just normal standard politics. But I don't know if the wording was right on that though. Uh, And again, people understand the fakeness that surrounds Dr. Oz as well. So he's gotta also shake that. There's a lot he has to shake, especially as you mentioned running against John Fetterman because there's a realness, there's an authenticity to him that Dr. Oz has to somehow get beyond. But appealing to MAGA like this, I'm not sure if that's the way it's gonna work. Cuz they already see him as a dim and a lib and all that stuff because of things he said on his show before. Um, before he flipped and started acting like he was a conservative. Who knows who Dr. Oz is? That's really the question that many people on both sides of this entire uh, debate are probably asking. No, I really trust him. Maybe this won't help.